Hey guys and welcome to another City Software YouTube video. I'm Anthony and today I'm going to be talking to you about a new piece of technology just to hit the market, a USB 3.0. Uh, so I've got two products uh, brand new from Unitech uh, which I'm going to be going through and uh, installing for you today and showing you USB 3.0 in a live demo. Uh, so to start off, uh, we have Unitech's USB 2.0 uh, PCI Express card controller. Uh, so effectively you uh, install this directly into your PC and it gives you USB 3.0 compatibility. Um, now also we're going to be uh, demoing the USB 3.0 SATA hard drive enclosure. Uh, so this will plug directly uh, into our uh, PCI Express controller via USB cable um, and this will give us our USB 3.0 uh, data speeds. So uh, to get us installed today um, we are going to need a screwdriver uh, and you're also going to need a spare SATA hard drive to plug into your dock. Um, so let's uh, unbox it all and get started. Okay, so here we have the uh, PCI Express card. Uh, look, there's not much in terms of content. Um, you have your uh, PCI Express card um, and you've also got your low profile frame holder here as well. Um, so you've just got your USB ports on the front there and then you've got your Molex uh, power connectors there on the side. So not much to it. So onto the uh, docker now. Um, so the docker itself um, as you can see there's not much to that either uh, so on the back there you can see we've got a power switch uh, you've got uh, an input there for your USB and then you've got your AC adapter uh, input there as well and then if I turn the unit around uh, there's just a red LED for your power um, so in terms of box contents um, there is a new cable for USB 3.0 uh, basically it's called uh, super speed um, so you'll know you when you've got a USB 3.0 cable because they've got that uh, new logo there. Um, now also included with the docker as well is your AC adapter um, which you will need to power your docker. Um, so uh, to install a hard drive into the docker uh, it's relatively easy uh, just get yourself your, your SATA hard drive um, and match the pins up and it should just lock straight into place just like that. So it is fairly easy to get started. Um, so what I'm going to do now is install the PCI Express card. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to disconnect your computer uh, from all the cables and basically you want to be able to have access to the internal. So what you're going to need to do is remove the side of your case. Uh, as you'll see on my case here is I have two screws located uh, on the side panel on the back. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove those so I can get access to the internal motherboard. Okay, so once you've got access to your motherboard, uh, what you want to do is you want to locate the uh, PCI Express card slots on your motherboard. Uh, so PCI Express card looks exactly like this one right here. Um, so you might notice on the back of your unit that you might have these still frame uh, just to block the dust from getting in. Um, if you want you can just remove those to get your PCI Express card uh, directly in. Now if you've got pins here uh, just unlock them and it's really easy to uh, set up and install. Uh, so as you can see here I'll just put this unit uh, just in the PCI Express card slot like that. Uh, push it in uh, make sure it's nice and firmly in there and then I'm just gonna lock it shut here and lock it all in and there we have it uh, and that's how easy it is to get it installed okay so once you've got your PCI Express card uh, all installed uh, close up your case uh, put the cables all back in it and now what you want to do is you want to set up your uh, Unitech dock so install the uh, SATA hard drive uh, like I showed earlier uh, plug in the AC adapter and connect the USB cable from the docker uh, to the ports on the actual controller that we just installed Okay, so now that your dock's all set up, uh, restart your PC and you should notice that your drivers will uh, automatically start to install. Now, if they don't, don't worry, that's practically normal. Uh, all you have to do is go to www.citysoftware.com.au, uh, navigate to the product page and there in the product description tab, uh, you'll see the driver details. Okay, so what I'm going to do for you now is I'm going to give you a live demo of USB 3.0 working on my PC as I've just set it up. 
Okay, so now that I'm set up and all ready to go, uh, I'm using the Windows 7 operating system. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is give you a live demo of uh, the USB 3.0 in action. So I'm just going to navigate to my computer here, uh, then just go to my external hard drive. I just click on my downloads folder here and I'm just going to grab my top two files here, uh, which is about two gigs worth, and just drag and drop those directly to my desktop and let's see what sort of speeds I get here. Um, so, oh, if I can be quick enough, as you can see there, it was averaging about 800 megabytes a second there, and it's sort of just starting to taper off now, uh, but as you can see, it is well over 100 megabytes a second. Um, so, as you can see, uh, USB 3.0 is definitely a lot quicker than USB 2.0. And there you go, it's all done. In comparison, USB 3.0 is roughly around 10 times faster than USB 2.0 and they're expecting to be able to get speeds of up to 4.8 gigabytes per second with the release of new hard drives that will properly support the interface. Now there's also a PCMCIA Express card uh, available for notebooks uh, which is also released by Unitech. So jump on the City Software website and you can check that one out as well. So I hope you've enjoyed my product demonstration of USB 3.0 and the brand new Unitech products. I'm Anthony from City Software and I'll see you next time.